This video is to guide you on how to revise female gamete formation. It's part of a section connected with sexual reproduction in a flowering plant. So we're going to discuss how the polar nuclei and the female egg is produced. And this is all part of retrieval practice, but there is another much more detailed video which you should watch. The best place to start is with the female part of the flower. We know that it's called the carpal. The carpal is made up of the stigma, the style and the ovary, and it's the ovule inside the ovary that we're interested in. So let's take a closer look at the ovule. Inside the ovule is this mass of cells called the nucellus. These are diploid. And inside the nucellus is this one large megaspore mother cell, which is diploid. Surrounding the ovule are the walls called the integuments, and there is a pore in these called the micropyle. So the whole process of forming those female gametes begins with the diploid megaspore mother cell. It divides by meiosis to produce four haploid cells. Female gamete formation started off with this very large cell called a megaspore and it was diploid. It underwent meiosis to produce four haploid cells. Three of them died off or degenerated, leaving one remaining haploid cell, which is the embryo sac. Its nucleus undergoes mitosis three times to produce the embryo sac that is eight haploid nuclei. So this large cell with eight haploid nuclei. Eventually what happens is that six of these become individual cells, one of which is the egg cell, and the two remaining nuclei become the polar nuclei. So at the end of the whole process, let's see what we end up with. So here is the carpal and it's the female part of the flower. It's made up of the stigma, the style and the ovary. And we're looking inside the carpal, particularly inside the ovule. And it was a particular structure called the embryo sac where female gamete formation takes place. So it's really important that you can state that female gamete formation takes place in the embryo sac, be that specific. So let's just take a look at the ovule before all of this female gamete formation because it might be asked what was the function of the nucellus. So remember the nucellus is that mass of diploid cells that makes up the bulk of the ovule. Well the function of the nucellus is to provide nourishment for the developing embryo sac. So let's go over that one last time. We started off with a megaspore mother cell that was diploid. It underwent meiosis to produce four haploid cells three of which degenerate or die off, leaving one remaining haploid cell, which is now the embryo sac. Its nucleus undergoes mitosis or three rounds of mitosis to produce the embryo sac that has eight haploid nuclei. Inside that embryo sac will be the egg cell and two polar nuclei. The other five we don't have to concern ourselves with. So a very short video on revising how the polar nuclei and the egg cell, the female gametes, were produced. Best of luck.